This is Bill Stewart and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Dell OS recovery tool to create a Windows 11 ISO file. So you'll need the IMG burn tool which I installed here. You will need to install uh, that one, download and install it. You'll also need to download and install the Dell OS recovery tool. And you'll also need the Windows 11 ISO file. You also need to have a USB flash drive of at least an 8 gigabyte capacity. Um, it will be erased, so you'll need to make sure there's nothing on that flash drive before you use it with the Dell OS recovery tool. So the first step is to right click the ISO file and mount it as a drive in Windows. You can see here it mounted as a drive E. So I'm going to select all and copy the content of that folder go to my empty folder that's on my desktop for that content. I'm going to paste it. And the reason the Dell OS recovery tool fails with Windows 11 and also more recent versions of Windows 10, depending on which um, ISO file you have, is that the install.wim file is too large to fit on the uh, FAT32 file system that the Dell OS recovery tool uses when it formats the flash drive. So what we want to do is use the built-in Windows DISM command to um, split that install.wim file into separate files so that um, it doesn't cross that four gigabyte um, limitation. You can see here when I go into the sources folder you can see the install.wim file is larger than the four gigabytes, right? So what I actually want to do is I want to copy the, this path. I'm going to click in the address folder and copy. And I need to run Windows PowerShell as administrator. And then set, lo set dash location to that folder. You can see there there's install.wim file. So there is a command that you run in Windows, the Deployment Imaging Servicing Tool, DISM, and you run uh, this command that I'm highlighting here, copy, and I'm going to paste that to split it into, um, split the install.wim file into the install.swm file and it will also create install 2.swm, etc., however many files it needs, with a maximum size of um, 3 gigs. Right? So when that tool completes, we will be able to see the install.swm and install 2.swm files um, being created by that tool. And that's what um, will work with the. Um, Dell OS recovery tool. Okay, but first we have to build it as an ISO file. So that's what the, the next step is, the image burn uh, tool. So we actually want to delete that move-item, the install.wim file. Right, so we delete that and you can see now we just have install swm and install 2.swm. Okay. So now we open the IMG burn tool, create image file from files folders. I'm going to click this and select my um, on my desktop my folder where I um, extracted the content of the Windows 11 um, ISO file. We're going to go to advanced and we're going to select bootable disk, make image bootable. We're going to go into the, um, here's the content folder, boot, and etfsboot.com file is the one we want for the boot image. And we're going to do 8 for the sectors to load and click the build button. And I'm going to place this right on my desktop. I'm going to add del underscore del dot iso. Okay, so that's going to be the iso file name as you can see here, and it's asking to 
add the folder. So we'll say yes. It's prompting for the correct volume label. Click yes, and then OK. So once this image burn or IMG burn process completes, um, we will have this Dell ISO file that we can use with the Dell OS recovery tool. And we won't have any files um, in there that are larger than the four gigabyte FAT32 file system limit. Okay, so that's gonna complete shortly. Okay, it says operation completed and we can close the IMG burn tool now. And now we can open the Dell OS recovery tool that requires administrator. So this particular computer does not have an image. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit, click advanced recovery. This is what you'll do. I'm gonna click the browse to select the image. I'm gonna go on to the, uh, uh, the desktop and find my new Dell ISO file. Okay. And now that we've selected that uh, ISO file, click next. Um, you're going to want to select the GPT partition style and that uh, you understand that the drive will be reformatted and then click Burn OS. And that, uh, yep, you'll see the image verification start to run and it's specifying and you'll see that it's going to format the USB drive and go through all of its steps and rather than a failure it will uh, should complete successfully. So that is how you use the um, Dell OS recovery tool with the Windows 11 ISO file. Hope this video was uh, useful to you.